Basically in this video we will discuss in three steps, first what is earthing, second how it works, third is why it's needed in an electrical circuit. First before going in detail let's learn something on electrical circuit, how it current flows, how it works. Basically if the current flows in the phase line, if that is the forward direction current flows in the phase then in the return the current flows through the neutral line to the source again. Understand? In single line, if the current flows through the phase, it returns through the neutral. So that the electric cycle gets maintained. If there is any break or any difference in the amount of current flowing in the phase line and neutral line, then at that time there is a current disbalance in the circuit. And then if there is any circuit breaker, that will break that circuit so that no current will flow again. Next is how many types of breakers are there? Basically, first is the MCB, next is the ELCB, next is the RCCB, commonly used in the indoor purposes. Next, the MCCB, VCB, ACB, that's different fundamentals, that's for different purposes again. We'll, if you need to know, then let me know how we will discuss in separate chapter. Next is what is earthing and why it's needed. Basically, earthing is to be prepared to be there in the electrical circuit to protect some livelihood, any livelihood from getting the electrical shock. That process is prior. for that reason there is earthing in the circuit. What is earthing? Basically, the process of bypassing the extra amount of current from that circuit to the ground is called earthing. Understand? The process of bypassing the extra amount current from the circuit to the ground through a low resistance mean, be it uh, cable, be it anything, low resistance cable mean is called earthing. Second is why it's needed and how it works. Suppose for that we will go through an example to learn. Suppose there is a leakage in the cable and the cable being touched to the metallic border or metallic uh, out, outer body of any panel or anything. Uh, suppose at, time, at that time somebody goes and uh, touches the metal body, then what will happen? Idea? Obviously that person touching the metal body will get the electrical shock. Agree? Then next question is why is getting electrical shock and how to avoid from that? Right. First question, how is getting electrical shock and second is how to avoid from that. For that first is, <coughs> as you know, there are three things in electrical circuit. One is voltage, second is current and third is resistance. As you know, V equal to I S I R. That is current is inversely proportional to Resistance. If the current goes high, then resistance goes low. If that current goes low, then resistance goes high. Understand? If in a circuit resistance is low, and then by default there will be a high current flowing in that circuit. Why I am telling this? The reason behind that this is, if there is a leakage in a circuit, and that flows to the metallic body of electrical panel, and I am uh, suppose unfortunately I touch that panel. At that time, what will happen? The extra since I have low resistance, I have much more low resistance than the metallic body. In respect of metallic body, not in respect to the electrical conductor. Then the maximum current will flow through my body to the ground. At that time what I am is, I am the grounding source at that time. So much more current will flow through my body to the ground and I will get a electric shock. It may hamper me, it may, it may be a hazardous situation, anything, it may, it will hamper me. To avoid from that position, to avoid from that situation, we prepare our thing. What do you do then? Basically, there are two types of, uh, two purpose of earthing. One is body earthing and second is the neutral earthing. What is body earthing? What we discussed now, that is the body earthing. And second is the neutral earthing. Neutral earthing is basically the part of grounding. 
what we discussed before one is grounding and the other is earthing the part of neutral goes for grounding understand there are two things one is elect earthing and second is the grounding protecting a human body or any lively person from getting electrical shock is called earthing and protecting any device or any equipment from getting burst from electrical shock or a uh, high electrical flow high high electrical current flow is called grounding next is how it works <coughs> basically everything has a resistivity be it livelihood be it uh, anything be it conductor uh, conductor uh, be it anything everything has a, some resistivity into them so when somebody touches the uh, electrical conductor or any leak uh, electrical uh, current to any like uh, metallic body or anything or current carrying uh, current carrying uh, metals at that time what will happen i will get a electrical shock by default to avoid that we will get uh, give a earthing from the electric body of electrical panel connected directly to the earthing earth pit in the ground so that when there will be a leakage in that circuit rather than it flowing into my body that leakage current will directly flow from the metallic body of the electrical panel to the earth pit understand not from the current carrying conductor to earth pit it it flow from the metallic body to the earth pit what will happen then then since the current carrying conductor from the uh, metallic body to the earth pit has much more low resistance than human body by default that current will flow through that earth resistance sorry earth carrier earthing wire or earthing conductor to the ground and i don't be getting the electrical shock over there that process is called earthing i think you must get some clarity on this explanation till you have any clear clarification or having any query let me know in the comments i'll be there for you at any time i'm not here to teach you anything i basically this is a study circle video we have much more videos on designing electrical designing fire fighting designing hvac designing on our electrical sorry youtube page also you may go to there and get there whenever you get any doubt be it midnight be it evening let me know i will be there for you because i am i am here to fill the gap from theoretical uh, study to a practical study to a student to a corporate leader i am here to fill that gap so any time you have any confusion any query let me know feel free to let me uh, you know in the comment section so that i can revert you back second we will go for the <coughs> ground the same case over there same wire can will be connected same thing will be connected from the uh, device where it's get getting leaked or getting a, a shock of short circuit to the ground what the difference is suppose you have a refrigerator at your home <coughs> due to some reason there is a short circuit current in the circuit as you know short circuit current can be uh, a multiplier of 10 to 100 times of running current how much short circuit current can be a multiplier of 10 to 100 times of the running current what that mean is if one ampere current flowing through in a circuit in a time of at the time of short circuit it may go to 10 amperes 200 ampere that can be 10 to 100 times of the running current then what will happen that time as you know everything be it electrical be it electronics anything everything is designed on a particular or uh, stable design voltage or anything if anything is carrying current be it electrical or electronic everything is designed on voltages you might be agree on that if it's designed on a voltage level suppose a, any pcb or anything motherboard is designed at 110 voltage level if that gets how much protection will be there 
टेन परसेंट फिफ्टीन परसेंट फाइव फाइव टू टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व परसेंट इट कैन सफाइस टू अप टू एटी फाइव नाइंटी वोल्ट टू वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वोल्ट इज If 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 that circuit will if that motherboard will get uh, uh, 250 300 amperes rather than uh, 100 100 amperes, then what will happen? By default, it will burst. Clear? To avoid it to be bursted, to avoid it to be bursted, there is a parameter of grounding called what we call what we discussed before is earthing. The same thing here is called grounding. Nothing is different. Don't be confused. Nothing is different. But earthing and grounding is the totally same thing. The single line of difference here over here is earthing is designed to protect human body or any livelihood, and grounding is uh, uh, grounding is designed to protect any electrical or any device from getting burst. Second difference is earthing <coughs> works. on the parameter of earth leakage grounding works on the parameter of short circuit or any high amount of current flowing that circuit there are two differences if you are studying to if you are studying or a student in the electrical stream be get clarified on that there are only two difference in earthing and grounding it might come to in some entrance also first difference is it works on earth leakage it works on high amount of flowing current second is it designed the uh, earthing designed for protecting human body or any livelihood and grounding designed on protecting uh, any electrical or any device to get from getting burst there are two differences uh, uh, so let's go to grounding again at that time what happens if there is uh, a earthing connected to that system then the extra current flowing the, from the, uh, flowing to that circuit rather than going through that neutral it will uh, get back by the earthing earthing wire or earthing conductor to the ground understand if some extra current flows to the circuit by any mean then that current will be bypassed through earthing wire to the ground directly so rather, rather than flowing in the neutral and bursting the equipment That is the um, grounding part. I think on all thing we are clear now. First, what is all thing? One more time, repeat quickly. A quick repeat. The process of bypassing extra current from that circuit to the ground through a electrical conductor or low resistance conductor or by any low resistance mean is called all thing. Second, why it is used? earthing is used to protect any livelihood from getting shocked and grounding is used to protect any electrical devices or anything for getting burst uh, for flowing extra amount of current next is how it works how it works is it in case of earthing the leakage current directly flow through the earth uh, earthing wire or earthing conductor since it has a less resistance comparative to a human body so that it get directly bypass the low resistant cable rather than the human body and how it works in the grounding when the extra current comes to the circuit rather than it going through the <coughs> neutral line it bypasses through the earthing wire it saves the equipment then so i think you must have been some clarity on this if you are having any doubt till now again let me know in the comment section i will be glad to help you on that so i am ek signing off bye bye see you next